And what you'll do is fold it in half this way. Try and get it as uh, neatly as possible. Bend it over, fold it back. You do this a couple times, just making it easier to tear. Okay, and then fold it lengthwise, like so. Okay, back and forth a few times. All right, you can either cut this with the uh, scissors or you can just uh, tear it, and I just tear them. Tear them right on the creases you've just made. that. So obviously each ace of diamonds you use will give you two cards so you can make two boxes. Okay? You don't want to use the corner cards, you get rid of those, and all you need are these. So now basically what we're going to do is split this card, put a piece of magnetic tape inside of it, and then glue it back together. That turns this into basically a magnet card. All right, so don't be nervous of splitting a card. A lot of people are scared about doing this, but just practice it and you'll get pretty good at it pretty quickly. Um, for this one, I actually use an X-Acto knife. If I'm splitting a whole card, I'll bang it on the table, but in this case, I use an X-Acto knife and I'll show you exactly how to do it. The one thing you're gonna wanna make sure, with every card, there's three layers. You've got the front layer, which is a thin piece of paper, the back layer, which is a thin piece of paper, and in between is a thicker piece of paper. Okay, so you're gonna split it so you're getting just the back layer of the card. Okay? You don't wanna split the front layer, you wanna split the back layer, so that's the thin piece. And I will show you exactly how to do that with an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna start at the corner here where it's already ripped, See what I'm doing is just getting a little piece of just the back layer going. Okay? We will have a little disclaimer here, but obviously be careful because you're using an X-Acto knife. Take your time. You can see that that's peeling up just a little bit. All right, so that is just the paper layer of the back of the card. Then you've got a thicker cardboard layer and the front layer. So I'm going just the back layer here, okay? What I'm doing is just applying a little pressure from my thumb on the back, using the X-Acto knife to kind of pinch it in place and raise up just a little bit. Just like so. Now once you have about this much of the card, you're good to go. What you're gonna do next, we'll do it right on the table here. You need a hard surface. You're gonna push the face, uh, face or the back of the card will be towards the table. And what I'm gonna do is apply pressure to the paper backing as I peel the thicker layer off. So I take that little corner on the table I'm actually gonna split this just a little further to get it started. I'm doing that just with my fingers here. Very carefully peeling it back. And go from side to side so it doesn't get caught on it, either of these. You just peel nice and slow, like so. Okay, once that's done, put my finger here and peel upward. Now this finger is very important to apply even pressure towards the ends. So as I get this much, I'm gonna put both fingers here so they're on the extreme edges as I peel backwards. Every time you peel a little uh, further, just move your fingers in a little further each time. You can 
see I'm staying right towards the edge here. Okay, and I'll show you how far to peel. right about there. Okay, so I've peeled that much of the card. Okay. And go ahead and straighten it out a bit. And you're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do is take the magnetic tape And you basically, you're gonna want it so it is about an eighth of an inch from end to end. So almost the entire length of the card, but you leave a little bit of space so when you glue the card back together, those ends will close up, okay? What you're gonna do is jam it as far into this as you can. So you just peel back, stick it in there, and it's taped, so you just push down and it will adhere, just like so. And then I put the flap back over it and just push down nice and firm, okay? Next step, glue stick. Do it here. And you're gonna glue over the entire thing and you don't have to be shy with this glue. You wanna put a good amount on there and make sure that this area has a lot of glue on it, the front area has a lot of glue, and this area as well. And you go right over the tape. So you just put the glue on top of the entire thing. Okay, once that's done, I start from the middle of the back of the card, push forward, and then go to the edges. Just like so. Once you've got it there, then you can push down nice and hard. Make sure all of the sides are sealed up. I'm pushing outward just to get any air bubbles or anything that might have gotten up into there, uh, under there, out of there. So we just push. Sure, all the sides are nice and firm. Okay, and that's it. That is your gimmick card. I usually put this in a book, a big heavy book. Let it sit for an hour or so, but it's not necessary. As long as you keep it nice and flat. So now you've just got your flap card made with magnetized tape inside of it. So now that you've made your flap card with the magnet inside of it, magnetic tape, what you're gonna do is glue it to the inside of the box. I'm sorry, tape it to the inside of the box. Take a small piece of scotch tape, and you're gonna put it on this side, the rough edge of the card, okay? So the sticky part of the tape will be facing towards you. About half of its length stuck there. And this is gonna go inside the card box. It's gonna be taped to the top end, the end with the flap. That's gonna help for some camouflage later, okay? So it's, it's essentially gonna be in the box this way. You just stick it on here like so. Let it kind of float until you get it in the position you want. Once it's in the correct position, I'm just holding it with my fingers there. Once it's in the correct position, I just move my fingers down and stick the tape to the top of the box. That gives you that. So that is a, another reason that I put the flat gimmick card in a book for a few hours to get it nice and flat. Because what you want it to be, once it's locked in place, is that. 
nice and flush. Okay? So the next step is to put the magnet on the box. And what you'll want to do is you'll flap the card upward and move the magnet. And you'll notice as you move the magnet around, certain parts of it, the card will be more flush. So basically what you're going to want to do is move it as far upward as you can before the card falls. As soon as that card falls, bring it back just a little bit and you'll see it's locked in place. What, what you're trying to do is get the magnet as close to the end of the card as possible. So once it's there, where it needs to be, you take your piece of tape, and just place a piece of tape to hold that magnet in place.